When you see Richie Silverman behind the wheel of a car, it seems unnatural. After all, harness racing fans are used to seeing him driving standard breads. Well, this is one of the smaller pitfalls in this industry when your best three-row filly gets a little loose at the barn and damages the side of your car. But at least you have great owners like Mr. Granoff that knows that they'll have to cover that at the end of the year. This is typical banter from the brash, outspoken, sometimes misunderstood 27-year-old driver who is known for his aggressiveness. But lately, he's been settling down, and soon, he'll be hitched. We went to eat at a very nice restaurant uh, near the Meadowlands called uh, Prados, and we had a nice dinner, and I really don't think Beth had any idea uh, that I was going to pop the question on her. But uh, dessert came, and... I had to make sure D tell her that she had a phone call. So she left to get the phone. There was no one there. When she came back, I stuck the ring in the chocolate cake and I said, Will you marry me, Beth? Yeah. And she said yes. And then I went ahead to the track and we wound up winning the sweetheart that night, which was the cherry on the cake. Silverman is getting used to photographs, especially in winter circles. And although he has garnered success at a tender age, he is quick to deflect the credit. Well, I really have my father to thank for all of that. Uh, while I was in junior high school, we had a stable in California. And uh, I used to go out there for the summers, and I used to work and rub some horses. And Dad let me start training, and it all just really worked in together. When I finished high school, I started working for Dad steadily. And uh, he really pushed for me. Uh, as far as driving towards the owners and gave me a really big push and I had some good quality horses to drive which and everything really just panned out and I did very well. Tonight's confrontation of the three-year-old cold pace is not only between Die Laughing and Art's place, it's also a matchup between the challenger Silverman and the champion Campbell. There is, I would say, probably right now the greatest honest driver in the industry is John Campbell. And I do feel a little bit of rivalry between John and I now. You know, we've matched up a little bit uh, head and head with Arts Place and Die Laughing. And uh, before that, we've had our disagreements in certain things. But, you know, we get along fine on the racetrack and everything. But uh, I would have to say, if there's anyone, I would have to say it's John Campbell. Silverman started driving professionally at age 19 and less than three years later became the youngest pilot to capture a Breeders' Crown event. He did it so naturally. Driving is just happens to be something that, to me, that's in your blood. It's a great fulfillment in life to win a great race. Like, you know, I've been lucky enough to and drive the horses that I have been able to, that I really want, wouldn't want to do anything else right now in this time of my life or before.